Welcome back to another glorious episode of Random Researches. Rug, your show isn't even that glorious. Seriously? You came back just to say that? I can say whatever I want, whenever I want. You wanna go, bro? Come at me, fool. You know you still love me. For once. For one whole episode, you decided not to interrupt me. And then this episode, you come back just to ruin this entire show. Of course, I've been a part of this show for over five years. You idiot. In this episode of Random Researchers, I'm going to be listing my top 10 favorite albums of all time. Now, my favorite genre of music is rock music, specifically alternative and or progressive rock which I would describe with mashing up a bunch of weird and wonderful sounds into this classic genre of music to make something new and original. It's just one of my favourite things. As a part-time musician, I like to make music, but in order to make music, I have to listen to a lot of music. So since some people like to value my opinion somewhat, I'll list my top 10 favourite albums, and in many cases, that list may feature a lot of rock music, but don't worry, it's only 8 of them. Let's do this. Starting us off strong, we have the first ever album that I technically listened to. It is By The Way by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I was introduced to this album when I was very young, of course, and this explains my love of melodic bass in music. The songs are catchy, the uh, frontman is, has his own unique singing style, and it's sort of my gold standard for funk rock music. Coming in at number 9 is a very different kind of alternative rock album. It is Black Holes and Revelations by Muse. I was introduced to this very band during my dark years at school, circa 2006-07. The songs that they played on Radio 1 were intriguing, and it wasn't until the late 2000s that I got to hear this album in full. And honestly, I never looked back. The guitar solos are impressive, and the lyrics are meaningful, and it's definitely a worthy listen. Coming in at number 8, holy it is not a rock album. It is perfectly damaged by Mon Somolo. The reason why I love Sweden so much nowadays is largely thanks to this album and of course Sweden winning Eurovision twice in the 2010s. The hooks on this album are incredibly catchy and the melodies are sort of reminiscent to classic Coldplay as well. So that is a major plus for me. Bringing us back on track for number 7 is The Next Day by David Bowie. I do have a soft spot for this album, as it was the first ever album that I bought with my own well-earned money. It's also quite a bittersweet moment, because as David Bowie passed away in 2016, it opened my mind into music, and I immediately wanted to discover more of him. And it is his second to last album. I wish I knew him earlier. Coming in at number 6, we have quite a popular album on this list. It is Samstown by The Killers. During my binge on Coldplay in 2020, I thought I'd listen to this other band that so happened to have an album out that year. And this record quickly became a favourite of mine. The guitars are slightly on the grungy side and the songs are equally catchy. At number 5 is a very different kind of alternative album. It is Trench by 21 Pilots. This album tells the story of a man who sees the city as a trap of suicide, and it's the way the frontman speaks his feelings. I love the production qualities of this album, and I genuinely hope that they make something like this again. God, I love this album. Breaking the strife from you yet again, we have yet another non-rock album. It is Return of the Space Cowboy by Jamiroquai. It's a jazz funk album that really hits the sweet spot when it comes to my happiness. The bass lines are so incredible and the jazz uh, is so in just everything is so incredible about this album that I can't even explain it. Whoops. At number 3 we have X and Y by Coldplay. Unlike their newest album, Music of the Spheres, X and Y takes you on a journey through time and spacey things, and it also has a lot of meaningful lyrics that I can totally relate to. And if you don't agree, then I don't like your face. At number 2 we have As The Love Continues by Mogwai. Now this album has a very special place in my heart because it helped me through my most depressive days in my life. There are some incredibly powerful and punchy guitar mixes in this album and this album topped the UK album charts in February so uh, thanks Scotland. 
course, before I get to my number one pick, I'd like to shout out a couple of honourable mentions that didn't quite make the cut. Consider these further listening or further reading, however you like to put it. Let's do this. Get to Heaven by Everything Everything. No Place in Heaven by Mika. How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful by Florence and the Machine. Franz Ferdinand self-titled. The Stone Roses self-titled and Rammstein self-titled. This Little Girl by Irina M.A. Rizu by Rue Oscar. Tack by Ziggurat. Fallen by Evanescence. And Everything Goes Numb by Straight Line Manifesto. Okay, now it's time for the big one. It's time for my number one favourite album, Numero Uno. Spoiler alert, it's Alternative Rock. It's OK Computer by Radiohead. This album, this, this band, this frontman, this uh, amazing sound is just the best thing I've ever heard from any band that I ever loved. It's just... I can't explain it, just listen to it. It's so amazing, just listen to it, okay? Yeah. There we go, my top 10 favourite albums of all time. What is your favourite album? Or what is your favourite genre? Post your responses in the comments below because I would really love to know. Either way, thanks for watching and... End screen!